Hey guys, how you doing? It's your man Tim Black. Welcome to News for People Who Can't Stand the News. But you gotta know what's going on. You wanna know, right? That's why you tune in here to check out what's going on. Alright, check it out guys. Look, so Greg Hardy, you remember this guy, right? He's a force of nature, a freak of nature, NFL player, big timer, who was suspended last year for domestic violence, bunch of issues, right? So he gets picked up, he gets cut, he gets picked up. I think he was cut from the Carolina Panthers. I could be wrong about that, all right? Don't hold me to it. But I know he's got picked up by the world-renowned, the team of the country, the, the country's team, America's team. And, and look, I never gave him that designation, but that's what people call him, the Dallas Cowboys. They picked him up, and now he's playing. And then today the images came out of what occurred between him and his ex-girlfriend. I think her name is Nicole. Nicole, 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 Nicole. Let me show you a picture of the most damaging photo taken from taken by the officers on the scene when they saw her running down the street barefoot in the middle of the night trying to get away from Greg Hardy. I should have had that lined up. Why don't why didn't I think about putting that up earlier? It's all good, Tim. Da -da 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 -da. It's worth the wait. <laughs> Here it is. This way. There it is. You see this? Okay, the picture's in front of my hand. You can't see it. Well, over here. Over here. This is it. This is it. All right, guys. Okay, okay. So I saw this picture, and I've seen a number of analysts talking about the issue, and I got to say it real simple and plain, man. Guys. Do not make excuses for what Hardy did. Don't you do it. I know you want to do it. Don't you do it. There is no excuse for what I'm seeing here in this picture. This right here, this ain't supposed to happen, okay? Now, somebody called me Uncle Tom for saying you can't make excuses for it. I double down. Fuck it. I triple down. Don't make excuses for this, okay? I know Greg Hardy's a black guy, okay? Don't make excuses for it. I know she's a white girl. Don't make excuses for it. I know that Roethlisberger may have raped three women. Got nothing to do with this. This is his own thing. I know Mike Vick only did something to some dogs. I know. Don't make excuses for this, though. Nothing that you're comparing it to is equal to it. This is something that shouldn't happen. Now, I try to tell guys all the time, if you're, with, if you're in a relationship and somebody's on your last nerve, you need to get out that relationship. You got too much on the line, i.e. your life. Now, my other point is I'm tired of people already blaming Hardy. Blaming Hardy. Hardy, 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 Hardy. Hardy, 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 Hardy. Listen, listen. Hardy being back in the league is not his fault. He played football all his life to be at this level to play. Someone, someone hired him, he's playing, okay? If they didn't want him to play, they shouldn't have hired him. If the NFL doesn't want him in the league, they shouldn't have let him in the league. You don't blame the employee for having a job. You blame the job for hiring the employee. If somebody hired me and paid me $5 million or a million dollars, it would take a million for you to hire me right now as an employee. As a consultant, I work for less. But the point is this. If someone hires me for a million dollars, it's up to them. They, they offered me the job. I take the job. You can't say, Tim, why'd you take that million dollar job? I'd say, hell, somebody offered you a million dollars, would you take it? Stop expecting Greg Hardy to fire himself. Now, you can hate what he did. I hate this. This is wrong. I do not condone it. I'm speaking out on it. There is no excuse. Unequivocally, no excuse. I don't want to hear anybody saying there was an excuse for this. Okay? Well, she bruises easy. You knew that going in, dumbass. You knew it. You knew what color she was going in. You knew her complexion. So you mean you could body slam black women on their head because they dark skin and nobody will know? Think. Think. People aren't thinking. Somebody's a liability, get away from them. You don't double down on them and you don't throw them down on assault rifles. This is stupid, all right? I don't know if we're going to talk about this tonight or not, but I do have a show at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right on this channel that you're watching. I am TimBlack.com. Come watch that. I do not defend this shit. Chris Rock said there's a reason to shake a woman, not a reason to slam her on assault rifles. But hate the player. No, don't hate the player. Hate the game. I'm out. Almost had that backwards.